Kevin, I read that you said after the Ohio State loss that the team didn't handle the pressure well. That being said, what do you, how do you think the pressure is going to be handled going into this tournament, it being such a big tournament for you guys? Yeah, I think it'll be okay. You know, the, the pressure was, you know, their initial push in the game and, uh, you know, just how they came out and jumped on us a little bit. And we didn't, you know, we didn't expect that and didn't handle it well. And, you know, Minnesota, you know, do some of the same things and, and they, they play the ball very hard. But, uh, you know, given this time in the season, I think we'll be okay. And, you know, we'll be in a good, good position to, to execute. Now, you and Mar Minnesota both share a home victory. How do you think the neutral court is going to affect this game? You know, I don't think uh, I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Most of us have, you know, our guys have, have played on neutral courts, and they have. And you know, I don't know how the crowd's going to be. It's middle of the week, and how many people are going to come down. But you know, it gives us a good sense. Uh, you know, it takes away a variable, I guess. You know, there's not going to be the, you know, the hostile crowd that we that we faced at Minnesota. But at the same time, we don't get the, you know, the, our great fan support uh, that's helped us in so many games. So it's almost something you just have to block out and, and accept as uh, as a neutral court and just go out there and make sure that you're doing the right stuff. You and Minnesota both share a win at home. This being in Indianapolis neutral court, how do you think that's going to affect the game? Uh, I don't think it affect the game as much as uh, people think. You know, just got to go out there and, uh, you know scout them as much as we can these next couple days and uh, just be prepared for their pressure. This is a neutral site, you know, we're playing here, no one's at home, so it's going to be a tough game. So we expect them to come out and play the way they did. We just have to match their intensity. Mentally and physically with this tournament with so much on the line, how do you think the team's going to handle the back-to-back, -back, possibly four back to back I think it'll be okay. You know, we've been, we've, we've been getting such great contribution from our bench, so that's really been impressive for us and, you know, something we haven't had in the past and coach hadn't been comfortable, you know, going, you know, past seven guys and, you know, we've been playing eight, nine guys and, you know, that really helps throughout the game. If you look at the Purdue game when you had Sterling and Jeff and Jeremy in there and, you know, Craig and I were on the bench for, you know, five, ten minutes of clock time, which is actually, you know, 15 minutes of, of actual daytime. So, uh, those things are, are big. Those add up through through the tournament, and you go, you know, back to back to back. You know, four games almost, and uh, you, you know it makes a big difference. You know, if you have to only play 32 minutes as opposed to you know 40, and uh, I think that really adds up throughout the week. Hopefully, it won't affect us much, uh, guys. You know, that's what we're gonna try to do: get in, get in as best best shape as possible right now. But uh, you know, just gotta get a lot of sleep in between those days. We you know we're together every day. We, you know, being around each other is probably gonna give us more energy, just because. Uh, you know, we have a good time together. We're a very close team. So, uh, you know, you just got to get as much sleep as possible and keep keep the energy up. Uh, I think we're going to handle it like we've been handling it all year. You know, it's been a long year. We played 29 games so far. And it's pretty much just like high school playing AAU basketball. You know, every day you have to play a game when you go to those tournaments. So pretty much that'll be a lot of fun for us playing each and every day. Now, for you as a senior, how special what would this mean to you to be part of the first team to make it to the NCAA tournament? Uh, it would mean a lot to to me and my teammates, I think, especially the guys that have that have been here and gone through the ups and downs and the losing seasons, and to finally be rewarded with uh, with a postseason burst would be uh, be pretty pretty rewarding. That would be big, you know. That's that's why I came up here. I wanted to be you know a part of something different, and, and knowing that that you know has never happened up here is, is certainly tough. And you know, to see glimpses of how good we can be and and just never able to you know, make that a consistent thing certainly you know, makes it even more uh, you know, impressive for us to be in this position. It's the middle of March. People are still talking about you know, Northwestern, the tournament, which is something is, uh, that, you know, that hasn't happened in the past. So uh, everybody's excited to be, be a part of something different and really trying to change you know, our perception.